Hi, Dvinda here from Midland Property Investments. I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm not in the Midlands. Today, I'm in sunny Bournemouth. And right behind me is one of the latest projects that we were involved in. It's a commercial to residential conversion. Now, as many of you know, that we started off dealing with small bike let projects, buying three bedroom houses and putting up for rent. And then after a while, as our portfolio grew, we started sourcing those for other people. But after a certain time, we found out there were more returns in finding disused buildings like this behind me and converting them into residential property. Now, this is a multi-million pound project and we haven't got the skills or the experience to do it by ourselves. So we work with other people that, who have got experience. Let me give you some of the figures to do with this, with this project. Purchase costs is one, about 1.3 million. Development costs about 1.65 million. On top of that, there'll be finance costs and legal costs. But after nine months of build work, we're looking a gross development value circa 4.7 million to 5.2 million. Now, what we'll do is we'll take a look inside and then we will talk a bit more about the other projects that we're doing as well. Okay, so let's go inside. Please, to Vinda here. Now we're inside the building. So a few minutes ago, we took a video just outside. Before we carry on and talk about the project, the numbers, etc., etc., I just want to tell you how we are involved. So we are just one of the partners of this project. Uh, we're part of a team which includes the main developer, in this case, Trigoni. As you can imagine, this kind of project takes a lot of effort, a lot of planning, a lot of management of teams, different teams, a lot of people, and we're just one of those one of those people. So. Going back to the numbers again. Um, overall, we're gonna put two more floors on top of that. We're gonna put five penthouse units on the top two floors. So we're, I think we're on the fourth floor here, the fifth floor, and beneath that, we're gonna put 23 units in. And here are the numbers. The purchase cost was 1.3 million. The development cost will be 1.65 million. That doesn't include the legals and finance. Now, the build will take around about nine months and we're looking to start in about two months time. And the gross GDP will be, gross development value will be circa 4.7 million to 5.2 million. Now, you're probably thinking, how can I get involved with these types of projects? If I give you a quick breakdown how to work this project. Normally there's different stages of a project like this. There's the initial purchase stage, which just means purchasing the building. Then there's a, a call it planning stage where you apply for planning permission and let the council know what you're going to do with this building. And typically it takes between seven to nine months, but for us, it took us 14 months. Then there's a, the initial refinancing stage where we refinance because uh, when you've got the planning permission then you've added extra value to the, the whole project so we refinance and pay the initial funder and the rest of the investors out and that refinance will also give us extra money to actually do the build so there's a development part development stage and then we've got two options we can either refinance again if we're looking to hold or then we start selling the units off. And you could get involved in any, in any of those stages. But for me, in my experience, it's more about developing relationships. Developing relationships with all the different parties involved. As you can imagine, as we talked about, this different, it's quite a complicated project. And you know, developing relationship with the, with the, uh, the main developer, it's very important. So as uh, Stuart from Tugoni says, it's more about people than percentages. We've got a lot of exciting projects in the pipeline. So if you feel that I can share my experience with you, or if you've got a project that you think I can help you with, please get in touch. My details will be below. 
and look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, bye-bye.